in a school, you can have uh, many of those events are primary, intermediate and secondary as well. So check it out, Schools Motocross. We are racing now with our uh, veterans class. The split start, it is the 103 of uh, Damien King. He will lead them. The Robbie Stewart entry, number five there on the KTM. He's had a great start. He's uh, sitting there in second place. We're looking at uh, James Robert Robinson. He's had a couple of seconds today. He finds himself back in fifth place with plenty of work to do. But uh, another whole shot for uh, Damien King. We look to the start line and see our uh, vets, our 45 plus vets going. And it uh, looks to be. Uh, uh, the 33 of Darren Capel as well of the 720, Alan Nichols in there as well. So uh, not the great start for Mitch Rowe again. He's sitting back in fourth place. So uh, he had some great battles with uh, DC Darren Capel. We've got a couple of uh, guys down in the S's there. So uh, unfortunately, some good work there from uh, the other fallen rider. So uh, we'll call for the uh, medics. We need the medics down to uh, the S's. Uh, there was a uh, rider down there. So uh, good uh, stuff from his uh, race mate there to uh, make sure the fallen rider's OK. So uh, there we go. Uh, we can't quite pick up the number, but uh, there we go. We're going racing anyway. We've got uh, the 103 of Damien King doing a fantastic job out in front of this one. Uh, James Rober Robinson now trying to put a move up into what third place. So well, we've got him sitting in third place, the number five of Robbie Stewart, who was only our uh, seventh fastest qualifier. And uh, now he finds himself in second place in this one. So uh, a good moto so far from Robbie. Fantastic to watch uh, him. We've got uh, Dion Steiner there. He's well back in the pack on the 525 uh, machine, the KXF 250. But uh, take nothing away, Damien King, he's been flawless so far. Three from three uh, hole shots, and now we find himself in charge of this one. This is uh, 10 minutes plus a lap, the third and final race for our uh, veterans class. We've got two races out there in the one uh, moto. So good to see our uh, fallen rider now back up and uh, OK, so uh, on his feet. That's fantastic to see. And uh, great work. The Sportsmanship of the Award of the day will go to uh, the veterans class for uh, the way uh, that there was handled. Fantastic. We've got the update here, the 33 of uh, Darren Cable, DC, local Whakatane man. He finds himself uh, ahead of the 007 Mitch Rowe uh, and then go back to the 720 of uh, Alan Nichols. So uh, the track certainly starting to cut up. There's uh, dust coming up of a few uh, places. There's braking bumps, there's hard uh, ruts and uh, absolutely uh, treacherous conditions out there for this veterans class. The third and final race for the veterans of the day. And uh, we've got about uh, five odd laps to go as we go racing with Damien King, uh, the youngest of the King brothers uh, out here racing on the brand new uh, Ultra Honda uh, CRF 450 with Crown Kiwi on board with him. We've got uh, James Robo Robinson on the Robo MX coaching City Honda. There he finds himself in second place now after uh, a mid-pack start. Uh, that's uh, the top two there. We've got the five of Robbie Stewart in there. That's uh, third place for him. So that's our uh, junior vets, the 35 to 44 years veterans class. And then uh, looking to our senior vets, which is the 45 plus, And it is the 33 of Darren Cable ahead of Mitch Rowe. Uh, and then go back to the 720 of Alan Nichols. So uh, that's the top threes as we see them. There's two races out there. We'll try and uh, do our best to keep up with the play. But uh, at the moment, Brilliant stuff from our uh, Rojack Limited and our uh, Perini Trust Veterans class. So what uh, two classes out there in one. So fantastic. So your heat is coming out. That wind's just died down. So uh, very, very hot conditions out there. And uh, rocking through the program into the final rounds of racing now. I'm sure these guys, Brad, won't be complaining too much that it's their final race of the day. Being veterans, some of these guys at over 60 years of age, it'll be a welcome relief to see the chicken flag after this one. And just coming up towards the heat of the day is uh, at the moment uh, Honda time at uh, 25 uh, to 3, 25 to three. So we're going into our final round as we guesstimated folks will be finished here before four o'clock today so if you have got other things planned on your uh, super summer to do today on uh, Sunday the 29th of December do stay with us we firmly encourage you as the uh, a few of the last races and particularly that uh, MX2 and MX1 and using what we call the joker lane the joker lane and we'll explain that uh, for you a little bit later on but uh, the joker lane I'm sure will be a lot of uh, fun and uh, we'll explain it at its best and you watch how a race unfolds when they use the joker lane it's effectively a shortcut that you can use once in the race but when do you use it do you use it early do you use it in the middle or do you use it late how do you psych out the competition so that joker lane and we'll uh, watch for uh, that coming up with our last mx2 and mx1 race a whole lot of fun still to be out here with uh, uh, tony reese motorcycles and honda summer cross to come so uh, the updates we can give you there, Damien King ahead of James Robinson, Robbie Stewart there in third place. We go back to Daniel Fogarty, uh, then Jared Dixon, he's in fifth place. Dion Steiner has uh, got his way up into sixth place on a little late race charge. Clint Beattie's into seventh, Scott Walsh in eighth, and Neil Thompson there, that's ninth place with Grant Marsh. Good to see Grant Marsh uh, from Gizzy there in uh, tenth place. Uh, that's our uh, junior vets, 35 to 44 years, brought to you by Rojack Limited. And then we go to uh, the senior vets, the 45 plus. 
and uh, 2.9 seconds is the lead. Darren Capel ahead of Mitch Rowe with Alan Nichols in third place. We've also got uh, Richard Furs there. He's running in fourth. Tony Coxley, the legend TC, uh, he is in fifth. And then uh, we see uh, Winston Byblow there, the 929 machine in sixth place with uh, Keith Thompson running in second and uh, Daryl Adlam uh, there in eighth place rounding out some uh, great veterans racing. But uh, here is the 103, uh, Damien King on the new Ultra Honda CRF 450. So uh, he's got about three laps to go and uh, Robo MX there right in second place. So uh, fantastic from Robo on the City Honda with uh, Moto SR and Vital Zing, Canterbury Bill Tong and uh, 7E. Uh, in behind, also got uh, C4 Energy and uh, board James Robo Robinson. Uh, great to see James out there. Second place for James. Hasn't quite had the starts. Uh, probably got the same sort of pace as Damien, but hasn't quite been able to get the whole shots that Damien's got. And uh, finds himself about uh, three and a half seconds uh, back there to uh, second place. We've got uh, third place is now with Daniel Fogarty. So uh, he's getting better and better as the day gets on. So a great uh, third place for him. Robbie Stewart now down into fourth and uh, Jared Dixon with uh, Dion Steiner. So that uh, little uh, four-way fight there for third in the Junior Vets class, and uh, it is a full-on four-way. They're going into the S's at the moment. And uh, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth there with uh, Dion Steiner. He's had a couple of third places today, finds himself in sixth with plenty of work to do as we get to the uh, business end of veterans racing for the 48th uh, Summer Cross, brought to you by uh, Honda and Tony Rees Motorcycles. So fantastic to have uh, veterans action like this out there. Uh, getting towards the latter part of the uh, motor, a lot of uh, racing to catch up with as these guys uh, come down to uh, the business end of the day. Uh, this is where the uh, strength and endurance comes in and cuts in. Can they uh, still master the moment and hold on to it? 393, go Ryan, go Ryan, go Ryan, Ryan Winiata for Manuel 2 Mini Spreaders, uh, former VP of uh, Manuel 2 Ryan and uh, all round good guy. Uh, had a big trip in 2019 to go to some AMA motocross as well. Went over there to uh, America to watch a, a few events. So an opportunity to take his uh, family and to uh, see how the other half live and what uh, big time motocross is all about. Mind blowing apparently. So uh, great uh, endeavours as undertaken. There we are, 103 uh, to look back to. Now with the uh, vets lineup. Reminder, of course, of those uh, two groups, the two groups. Super important to understand, we have uh, two age groups uh, in this uh, field. So uh, most important to get an understanding of what those uh, two groups are. And uh, courtesy of uh, uh, Rojack, at home with uh, Farm Source, we have our uh, Vets 35 to 44 and our Perini uh, Trust uh, 45 plus. So uh, two groups. Race leader 43, Damien King, and race leader 33, uh, Darren Capel. The two uh, classes within the moto. That's a little bit of bad luck for Johnny Edwards earlier during that race, and I see that his pacing is a little bit further back to be in 16th there overall. So Damien, James, uh, Daniel uh, Fogarty in there, along with Robbie Stewart, Jared Dixon, Dion Steiner, and seeing the fact that, uh, actually I must correct it, sorry, Mitch Rowe has got past Aaron Capel. So, uh, yeah, sorry, well, there you go. Uh, some credits there that way, although uh, Darren's won the earlier two, a change, and this won't make any difference to the overall. So uh, good work then by uh, Mitch, maybe saving his best or last, is he? So uh, whatever the reason, He's moved in to uh, take, and it has just been a recent change, a recent change made as we are getting ready for the white flag and here late in the uh, moto. These guys, as we say, some of them are over 60 years of age, the youngest being 35, is uh, certainly a young man's sport motocross, and this is uh, super tough and demanding, first of all, for the roughness of the track, the heat of the day, and the energy it consumes. It is uh, the uh, tough and rough world of motocross, undertaken by many as the physically most demanding sport around. So, uh, 113, Daniel Fogarty out of Gisborne on the Fogarty construction, unforeseen, ITM supported uh, bike. So, uh, there we go. And, uh, Keen just to see uh, what we're doing. Oh yes, white flag, white flag, keen to update. There we are, the white flag has gone out for uh, Damien. What a day that man has had. Uh, Damien can courtesy of Otra Honda. Of course, that's the Honda shop in Otra Honda. So uh, Team Otra Honda and uh, Damien out there uh, to represent the team, 100% Talpine Star, Dr. Trim of our Pirelli tyres and the in dub graphics on the Honda CRF 450. So uh, good effort from uh, Damien in the uh, update of uh, racing. And uh, he's gone all three today. May not be necessary all three for Darren Capel because he's had uh, two wins and now is sitting in second place. But even sitting in second, still good enough to give him the overall as he has had more wins than anybody else. And 
Of course he's going to uh, win, but uh, here we are. White flag, white flag. These guys coming around to welcome relief. One lap to go. This man, 720, and Alan Nichols had the privilege of knowing Alan since he was a hotshot uh, junior out of uh, Mangakino in the uh, South Waikato. And I'll tell you what, in the heyday of his racing as an 85cc rider, nobody in New Zealand touched that man. Former national champion. He was uh, very, very fast. And uh, great to see that he's still enjoying it after all these years. Mangakino is uh, Alan Nichols. Number uh, 720, used to ride out of Tokara for Tokara Motorcycles. So uh, uh, the clock winds and uh, like many of our riders disappear off the sport, you know, have business, have a family, have a mortgage and then uh, uh, afterwards it's uh, the little time and the passion's still there for motocross and love having them back. So well done, Alan. 73 for Johnny Edwards on the shore wire rope, supported by 314, 924. These guys, white flag, it's like, oh, finally, finally. Welcome relief under the heat of the sun. Triple three, Noel Leach, out of Cal Copper Copper on the smaller 250. 71, and here we are with our race leader, race leader, all the way, Mr. Damien King, uh, uh, former New Zealand motocross champion, and now in 2019 a New Zealand vet champion, and doing it as well with the summer cross championship. Well lined up there. The 113 uh, now to take on as well will be uh, Daniel, uh, well, in fact that's two 113s, that's uh, Luke, Luke Fleming, sorry. I think that's the way we go. Oh no, that wasn't Luke either, was it? Anyway, uh, we'll... Uh, we certainly know that it was uh, Damien for the front runner. That was the most important part of all of that. And as we look back to uh, James, the margin in there, 24.8 seconds, 24.8. So convincing performance uh, out there from him as well. So there we have it, our uh, update of uh, racing all onto the wire there. Vets Racing, uh, Brad, with uh, Farm Source uh, Fonterra, Dairy for Life. And